Yo, 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 guys, what is up? This is Toss Crossfade Gaming, and I'm back. Uh, today, we got update 1.10 for Gran Turismo 6. Uh, the first thing that might stick out to you is obvious the two new Vision Gran Turismo cars, uh, which we'll go check out now. Uh, you got the Aston Martin, which I think it's going to show the video now. It's and the shape, the form, the proportion. It's our iconic grill shape. It's the balance and integrity of materials. It's beautiful, crafted, sculpted. It's something groundbreaking that no one's seen before. Yeah, we were allowed to break the rules somewhat with this one. It really showcases what Aston Martin is all about. Power, beauty, and soul. DP100 is something very, very special for Gran Turismo. For me, the initial idea always starts with a sketch. Producing something which is touched by human hand, but it's seen in a virtual world. What's unique about the car compared to everything else we do today is its mid-engine layout. As true mid-engine, DP100 allows us a completely different form language that still maintains the Aston Martin feel and character. We've effectively used the same processes, the same principles to design this car for the game that we would in putting a car on the road. So all the shape and the form had to be real. We look at three elements, the sketch, the engineering, and the CAD. And we also have the delivery through sculpture. Beauty is probably number one. We spend an obsessive amount of time looking at the car in different lights to make sure this car looked great from every single angle. With the design of a car like DP100, the colours and materials are hugely important. We're able to link some of the exterior finishes and interior finishes and be totally free with where we can apply them. With the virtual world, we can push the boundaries. For a designer, it's the ultimate in freedom. We give the car a lot of power. We've been very inventive with aerodynamics. It's going to have the great feel, perfect balance, and that sound. That rush of sound each time you change a gear. That's something which is so special in Aston Martin. You'll feel all of that in the DP100. All of our racing technologies, all of the passion that we put into our road cars, are here in DP100. It is a true winner. Awesome. So that's the new Aston Martin Vision Gran Turismo. Uh, priced at 1 million credits. Uh, got a bunch of different colors. Let's see. Yeah, all kinds of different ones. I think platinum, platinum white and racing orange look pretty cool. And, uh... There's also a new seasonal event for both of the Vision Gran Turismo cars. No brainer. But uh, the other new one is the Nissan Vision Gran Turismo. Just check that video out here. The design brief was more or less try to design a car that looks fast, that looks super interesting, that just make people go wow. very exciting global project and it's fabulous for us to get the chance to express our design for a future concept in the game. The concept 2020 is basically what every designer always dreams about. It was super exciting to work on a project with no boundaries at all. The designer had a kind of initial line drawings and we actually skipped all the pre model stages and then directed to digital. We could really understand the form using our Powerwall screen, using technology to bring this future concept into reality. We can use pure aerodynamic performance for the first time, and that is going to add a huge advantage in the game itself.
you have this strong front fender connected to it, very round, very sculptural. And then in contrast, the rear fender, which is more constructed and more wing light, very lightweight. When you need to have a high downforce, the actual rear wing is adjustable. So it's automatically elevates the height of the wing. When you're driving this car, you're really going to feel fantastic acceleration. You get this feeling of energy that just surrounds you. It's super extreme, super low, super wide, but also very aerodynamically refined. It's like a jet fighter grounded on the road. With all this energy and excitement, this innovation, this is still very obviously a Nissan. And there is the Nissan Vision Gary Turismo. And I'm pretty sure it's, yep, priced at 1 million credits again. And then, like I said before, most likely going to have a seasonal event for both of these. Uh, let's just see which one looks cool. The dark blue looks pretty hot. Nightshade looks pretty cool. But yeah, there's the Vision Gran Turismo Nissan. But we also have another cool feature, which I was pretty... Like, I don't know. It, it was interesting. I, it was new, different, I guess. But if you have racing brakes installed on your car and you go to paint, uh, you can actually paint your brake calipers, which was a pretty cool addition. Caught me by surprise. Uh, but if you also look near the front wheels, uh, you can now change the... Well, obviously you could change the view around like that before, but now you can do full screen. And you can hold it and rotate it like this and stuff. That's another new addition as well. But we, I like the little, uh, I think it's cool how you can now paint your brake calipers if you see them in there changing. When I uh, change the color here, let me put a bright color on. You see the red in there. Yeah, I'm probably going to make it like red or green for the brakes. The red looks pretty nice. I'll put like a yellow so you can see it. About fluorescent blue. Yeah, there's all different colors, obviously, but I'm just gonna throw on the, uh, put a red one on for now. See which red looks the best. Probably just go with the. Uh, let's see here. Do I have a brighter one? Cause I don't know. I think I feel like those brakes are a little dark. Super red two. That'll work. But uh, you can now paint your brake calipers, obviously, as I just did. Just another little thing to, you know, and not every car you're going to be able to do this on. Uh, I'm not sure what cars it's not able to, but. I'm assuming all premium cars are going to be able to do that, but some of the standard cars or whatever, like race cars maybe, I feel like you won't be able to change it. Let me go try a standard car quick. Uh, where's one of my standard cars at? Alright, well, this car is a standard. The Aristo. Let's see if I can change the brake caliper paint on this. Just see. Just as a little test quick. And yes, you can, it seems. So, I'm going to guess it's going to be like go-karts and stuff like that. Formula 1 cars that you're not going to be able to do this on. Just the obvious stuff. If you know what I'm saying. I don't know, I just like, I, know, I feel like the sunrise yellow looks pretty sweet on that. Yeah, I'm going to paint this one quick, and then we'll also go check out, the, there's more car number customization options now as well. Now I'm thinking, not sure if you could do it on all the standard models, 
pretty sure should be able to but we'll go check that out quick uh, be in garage now standard model cars looks like it's a no-go for driver number uh, let me try that Sylvia real quick again see if I can put a number on that drift cars alright now this one you can actually put driver number on Let's see. Base. I like to actually show like the. So I can get circle, circle the black outline. Interface. It's just the way the number looks. Now my number for everything is 34. I don't know why, but I just like it, I guess. And then I guess that could be cool too, because you could have like drift teams and shit. It would be cool to see that on. Like, I'm just going to leave it like that. And there's another change that I'm not actually going to show because it's kind of hard to show, but engine brake reduction control on formula cars is now disabled. Which, like, when you're slowing into a corner and you let off the gas, there's usually, like, that weird, I don't know, just weird, but I guess that's gone now. I'm not too sure, but I don't really race formula cars anyway. I'm a drifter. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's the 1.10 update, guys. And uh, I will be posting this on GT Planet as well. I'll put a link to all those, like the GT Planet webpage and stuff. And uh, there's also an undocumented changes uh, forum discussion on there as well that you can check out for more in-depth uh, analysis and shit like that. But uh, till next time, guys, peace.